Hi, welcome back. Let us understand how the time delay that is getting created by the microservices is going to impact the other microservices. For this, we have an option to inject the artificial time delay using the fault and fixed delay. Like that, we injected a fixed delay of 2 seconds when the ratings microservice is giving the response. I can verify that and change that particular value. Let me get into the Kiali graph and as a part of the ratings virtual services, I can get into the Istio config directly get into the ratings virtual services. Here we injected a fixed delay of seconds. Let's go ahead and increase this particular time to 3 seconds and see what's going to happen. Before that, let's discuss that over the PPT. The default timeout for reviews is 10 seconds and 2.5 seconds for other subset. That means the reviews microservice can wait up to 10 seconds for the version 2 subset and 2.5 seconds for other subset. Now as a part of the virtual service, we are routing all the traffic to version 2. So this particular reviews microservice will be waiting for 10 seconds to get the response from all other microservices that they are calling. Now I am going to change the reviews virtual service within the YAML file. What I can do, I can get into the virtual services reviews and get into the YAML tab. Here it is going to have the destination as version 2. Let me change that to version 3. I have applied the changes. The changes are saved. Let me go ahead and access the web page. It should get into the version 3. So it should get me the red color star. Yes, I am getting the red color star. That means all the traffic is getting into the version 3. Let me access the page a few times. Now let me get into the graph, refresh the graph. For reviews, I am getting into the version 3. And that is getting into the ratings, virtual services and ratings. I do have only one subset version 1. Now what I am going to do, I am going to increase the response time of this particular version by changing the fixed delay of the ratings virtual services. Let me get into the ratings virtual service. This is another way of getting into the ratings virtual service. Let me open the YAML file. Here I am going to make the fixed delay as 2.8 seconds. Let me go ahead and access the web UI. I am not getting any response from the rating service. The reason because we changed the reviews subset to version 1 and version 1 it's having a timeout as 2.5 seconds. So this reviews 1 will be waiting for 2.5 seconds and beyond that it will send out a response saying it did not get the response from the ratings and send out the error to the book info and book info will display the error message saying it did not get the response. I can verify that using the Jaeger UI as well. Let me get the traces. Let me get into the latest trace. Here itself I can see there is one error. Let me get into the detailed trace. Here as a part of the reviews, I did not get the response after waiting for 2.5 seconds. The reason because within reviews, 2.5 seconds is set as the timeout. And this timeout is very, very crucial. The reason because within the predefined time duration, I have to give the response to the end user either an error message or some sort of an information saying I have not received the response and I cannot keep waiting forever to get the response from the microservices. Now let me go ahead and increase this particular duration that is I am going to change the version of reviews to version 1 so that it will have the timeout as 10 seconds. Say within virtual services I am going to get into the reviews within the YAML file, I'll change the subset to version 2. So version 2 will have a timeout duration of 10 seconds. So it can wait up to 10 seconds. So this time it should get through and it should get the response back. Yes, I'm able to get the response back because the timeout for that particular reviews subset is 10 seconds. And having a huge timeout for the microservices is also not acceptable. The reason because the calling microservices may face some issues. I can prove this by changing the 
fix a delay of ratings beyond 3 seconds. The reason because the book info product page is having a timeout of 3 seconds. So it will not wait beyond 3 seconds and it is going to give the response back saying it did not get the response even though the review can wait for 10 seconds. So I am going to change the ratings to delay beyond 3 seconds. Let me get into the ratings virtual service. As a part of the YAML file, I am going to inject a delay of say 3.8 seconds. And within the reviews virtual service, I am landing in subset 2. So reviews subset 2 that is version 2 can wait up to 10 seconds till the ratings giving the response after 3.8 seconds. But product page cannot wait beyond 3 seconds. It's going to give the response back saying it's not having the response and give the error message. Let's go ahead and access the page. So I should not get the reviews at all. So it will wait for 3 seconds and it's going to give a try 2 times because the retry count by default within Istio is 2. So it will try 2 times every time it's going to wait for 3 seconds and it wouldn't have got the response back. So it provided the error message saying it have not got the response from the reviews microservice because it is waiting beyond 3 seconds to get the ratings. Because the ratings, we injected a delay of 3.8 seconds. I can verify this within the Hager UI as well. Let me get all the traces. Let me get into the trees. Here, the product page, it gave the error message because the reviews, it was taking beyond 3 seconds. And here's where it made two attempts. This is the first attempt. And after 3.8 seconds reviews, it got the rating. but Within 3 seconds itself, the product page decided the time is out and it provided the error message saying the time is out and it went for the second retry and even within the second retry, immediately after 3 seconds, it said time is out and provided the error message within the web UI and the response from the ratings is received after 3.8 seconds to the reviews but still it's not used within the web UI because of the timeout. Setting the right timeout for each microservice is crucial because within the entire chain, the microservice having the biggest timeout will be acting as a bottleneck within the entire microservice architecture. So as a part of this particular lecture, we learned about how to change the fixer delay using the fault option available within the virtual services and inject the artificial delay within the microservices and we were making use of the hard-coded timeout available as a part of the microservices. I can overwrite the timeout using the virtual services as well that we will be seeing it as a part of the next lecture.